Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans, we got to talk about what went down in L.A. today. So, Douglas upset Thomas playing with that voice-changing app. Thomas doubles down on his manipulation of Ridge. And Brooks suspects Thomas of sabotaging her marriage. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for November 11th, and without further ado, let's talk about this episode. So, we start out over at Eric's, where we see Douglas is playing with the voice changer app, faking his dad's voice. Now, Thomas fusses at him when Ridge appears, asking... What's he talking about? And Thomas stopped all discussion telling his kid to stay focused. Now, Ridge says that, hey, we didn't have apps back in the day when we were a kid. Now, Thomas says, well, you know, some apps can actually change your life. Ridge make a tennis date with Douglas, who gloats about the last time they played together where he wiped the court with him. Please, but no, Douglas had to go off and do his homework. Now, Thomas can see that his dad is still bothered by the whole Brooke situation. Now, Ridge was just wishing that there was an app that could help her tell the truth. Give her another chance to come clean that he thinks that she made that call to CPS. Now, we see Thomas staring off in the distance. He calls her a horrible person, but Ridge asks his son to take it easy on her. And then Thomas is claiming that she saw an opportunity to make him look like the bad guy. And then she played the victim. Thankfully, they heard their damning words. And he reminds his dad that they promised Walter not to say anything. You didn't say anything to anyone, right? And Riz says no and wants to change the topic to, you know, his pride over his son's review. Now, he's sorry what Brooke did to him, but Thomas brushed it off. Now, he doesn't want to talk about the bad stuff. And Thomas urges his dad to tell Taylor about the annulment. But Ridge says this. No one. Like mom? My mom, not Steffi. Could you imagine if us? Let's... That's enough. All right, let's not talk about that anymore. Let's talk about good stuff. And he moves on to the fact that he has a tennis match with his grandson. However, Thomas pressures him to tell Taylor that now that they can be together and there is nothing that Brooke can do about it. Now, let's swing over to Brooks. And she's lying on the couch and Hope comes in. And she tells Hope that, yes, she signed the annulment papers, though it was obvious that Ridge still loved her. Now, Hope gives her a hug, and Brooke says that he was staring at her with tears in his eyes, and it was hard for him, too. She doesn't get how it got to this point when they actually still love one another. And Hope was like, man, this is senseless. Brooke only has one answer. Bridge and I are ending our marriage is because of Thomas. Now, Hope questioned her, and Brooke says Ridge mentioned that Thomas was tied to the annulment papers in some way. Now, they're both confused, and Brooke says that it seemed like Ridge wanted her to admit something. Thomas, yes. Okay, well, what makes you feel that way? No. What Rich said earlier, that somehow Thomas was tied to the annulment paper. I'm like, okay, well, how? What does Thomas have to do with that? I don't know. I mean, it's like Rich wanted me to admit something. That's the way it's seen. And Rich knows the debt I have with Thomas, and he knows that I don't agree with him, that he's changed no reason to get an annulment. Differently, that's all. Now, Hope mentions that she knows that she's been vocal about her dislike of Thomas, and Brooke was like, Yeah, but she sees this. Thomas, differently, you, you're pretty vocal about it, and you, you make it very clear that you think Thomas is still being manipulative and obsessive, and he is, and he's fixated on you all over again. It's obvious, honey. 
He's just better at concealing it. And the crazy thing is that Hope actually knows this, especially what happened earlier this week when he tried to kiss her. And of course, Brooke thinks that he might have done something to sabotage her marriage. And she says that there is something a little bit evil about him. And she thinks he's responsible for ending her marriage. And she also states this. My instincts are usually right, honey, when it comes to did do something to try to sabotage my hair. I don't know that. Well, I didn't before today, but after the way Rich brought up his son, it's a feeling, one I can't let go of. If Thomas did do something to interfere with my marriage, if he did something underhanded, that is something Rich will not tolerate, no matter how much he loves his son. And as much as she think he's responsible for ending her marriage, she's going to find out exactly what he did. So over at Forrester, Taylor is in the CEO office humming to herself. Finn appears and he's got coffee in tow. Now Taylor says Steffi left and she's doing some work emails. He decided to give her the coffee that was meant for Steffi. And he says that uh, she told him about Brooke and Ridge ending their marriage and asked how she feels about it. Now, Taylor has a lot of feelings, knowing the decision was hard on Ridge, but she is happy that Ridge is free of Brooke. I'm happy, and I'm, I'm happy that Ridge is finally free of Brooke. <laughs> Now, she did admit that she didn't see this coming and says that they've always played by different rules. Brooke was in it to win it and didn't care who she hurt. Taylor felt frustrated. Finn says he get it and she has a family with Ridge and she just wanted him for herself. And Taylor wonders this. I've always wondered, you know, does, does she really want him or does she just not want me to have him? To me, it's always been a competition, but Finn knows Thomas and Steffi wanted this forever, and Taylor agrees. Now, she doesn't think consistent happiness is possible as long as that man is with Brooke. I don't think consistent happiness could ever be possible as long as he's with Brooke. And Brooke thinks that Ridge is going to be missing something by being with Taylor. Very interesting. However, Finn leaves, and this is when we see Taylor looking at the pictures of Ridge, and she's having all these flashbacks, the one in Monte Carlo, and then she also flashes to having sex with Ridge over in Aspen, and then Ridge appears. And Taylor tells him that Thomas told her about the annulment, and she asks if he's okay. Is it really over? And Ridge says, yes, it is. And she brings him in and hugs him close. Now, back over at Eric, Douglas uses the voice changer apps with Eric's voice this time. Donna, where's the honey? And that's what she hears. Now, she turns around and laughs that Douglas got her with that app. Now, he's sad that he lost all of the saved voices, which were deleted. And he was wondering whether or not she could help him get them back. Donna tries, but this happens. For, for what? Um, the, the, the voices that Douglas had saved on his voice after the they're gone. Douglas, you're still playing with that app. What did I tell you about this? Do you want me to take your phone away from you again? Just obey. I will. Is that clear? And then Donna and Douglas look at one another. Donna call it a harmless app, but Thomas disagrees. And Donna was like, look, I don't mind that he keeps playing tricks on me. It's funny and it's brilliant that it sounds like someone else's voice. But Thomas put her in her place. And this is about him and his kid. She takes off with a sigh. And Thomas once again tells his son to stop and delete that from his phone. And the more you keep pushing, Thomas, the more guilty you're going to look. And you know Donna is going to go back and tell Hope and her sister. So you're only digging a deeper hole for yourself. 
Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Friday, November 11th, 2022. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap also for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. Also, stay tuned for the spoiler videos that will be coming out this weekend for the week of November 14th through the 18th. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.